D-Day. The Allied landings in Normandy have a million stories. But one of the most well-known, thanks to the TV series Band of Brothers, is Easy Company's assault on a battery of German artillery at a place called Braycor Manor. In this video, we will wargame this classic small unit action on a beautiful 28mm terrain board. We will compare the tactics used in the show to the tactics used by our American players. Can they live up to Easy Company? Join us as we begin a month of war games devoted to paratroopers on D-Day. So ultimately, I think it really could have gone either way. Uh, I think we got a lot of miniature paratroopers killed that we, we really didn't need to. We got really aggressive. We had a lot of close combats and uh, it really it really came down to the to the wire. Hey, welcome to Mark's Game Room. I'm really excited today to have Kimber Van Rye visiting from the Metropolitan Wargamers based in Brooklyn, New York. He's come all the way down to DC and he's brought his beautiful Braycore Manor setup to help us celebrate paratroopers on D-Day. So Kimber, tell me, why did you decide to model Braycore Manor? I think like a lot of gamers and World War II uh, fans, uh, Band of Brothers uh, is a signature event for us. And um, watching that trench assault over and over again really inspired me to create a game. Cool. I, I could never imagine watching it over and over again. <laughs> it's never <laughs> happened. So, so one thing you said uh, to me when we were kind of setting up this is you said uh, you think every kind of battle right has one kind of iconic piece of terrain and for this one you modeled the trench like you put a lot of energy into just building the trench and almost that by itself the rest of the terrain just kind of falls into place and it makes it beautiful so just tell me a little bit about uh, how you went about doing the trench yeah i think a lot of battles you're exactly right are instantly identifiable by looking at the terrain mm -hmm. and in this case the trench does tie the entire scenario together and so with some custom resin cast trench pieces from the UK, uh, and then a bunch of custom work, I uh, was able to pull that all together. Cool. So yeah, if, if you're at home and you want to do something like this, just think about really focusing on the trench, and then the rest, you know, you don't really have to go crazy and it'll look really great. So that's a great tip. Thanks, Kimber. All right. Thanks, all right, Mark. we're going to get to it. You're going to join us, and you're going to be on the American side. Absolutely, as it should be. All right, let's get to it. The 101st Airborne's primary mission on D-Day was to help the troops landing on Utah Beach fight their way inland. Preventing this was a belt of marshy land behind the beach. The only way to get tanks over this was along a series of narrow causeways, and the Germans would be sure to block those, keeping the Americans stuck on the beach, where they would be perfect targets for German artillery. Three and a quarter miles, or 5.2 kilometers inland, was the small town of St. Marie du Mont, which housed the headquarters for a unit of three batteries of German 105mm howitzers. One of these batteries was dug in on this hedgerow at the farm of Braycore Manor, and it was hammering the Americans who were struggling to fight their way off of Utah Beach. Easy Company was given the assignment to take them out. We will be using one hour skirmish war games rules. They are fun and play fast. Walt and Brian will be running the German force of four howitzers and two small squads of infantry spread out in the trench. Two MG42 machine guns are also in foxholes to the rear. Matt and Kimber are the American players. They have Lieutenant Winters and his 10 paratroopers. Sean will be playing the part of Lieutenant Spears and his five men who enter later in the game to take out the last gun. 
the Americans will win if they can capture all four howitzers before the Germans can cause enough casualties to break their morale. Okay, let's compare the movie tactics to Matt and Kimber's tactics. Okay, machine gun too. Hey, I'm Mark. And I'm Ben. And we're going to give you some commentary as we follow this game. All right, here we go. Okay, I'm ready. The plan. Who's playing? Oh, Ben's There are two brothers. guns that we know when of. When is this plan? Firing on Utah Beach. The plan on a third and a fourth here and here. The Germans are in the trenches with access to the entire battery with machine gun cover in the rear. We'll establish a base of fire and move under it hard and fast with two squads That's of three. Base of fire, good. What are we thinking? Uh, we know we have the element of surprise, so we know uh, we're hitting first. Right. Do we, so, want, uh, do we want a lot of folks up on the Bocage ready to storm in? I think we need to take our chances. That's our mission for the day. So let's just get aggressive from the right, start. Aggressive. Got it. Just All right, so what do you think yeah. about uh, sighting our machine guns here so that they can do some counterfire into their machine gun? Sure thing. Right. And okay. do we want to have yeah. another fight, machine fire, gun? Firefight with firefight. Up in there to kind of cover this one. Oh, yeah, for sure. Yeah. Yeah, Walt, if you so wouldn't mind putting the machine gun, no yeah. problem whatsoever. Perfect. Yeah, thank but you. That was, uh, All right. Um, that's a good spot. It covers the battlefield. Folks. And they're going to charge in over the trench. So okay. Lay some suppressive fire, charge in over the trench. Easy. Yeah. Suppressive fire and grenades. I love the hand signals. It's really cool. I think that adds up to 20. So this is a little, you know, this is, I think, a the show didn't quite get right. Because how could you throw grenades into the machine guns and charge into the traps? They weren't near each other. Oh, you're right. Yeah, no, the German machine guns are really far back here. Yeah. Let's go! Let's go! Always grenades first. So let's, uh, let's find Compton, Buck Compton. We know he only has grenades. So here's Compton. Why don't you throw that grenade? Also, it helps if you throw your grenade accurately, like Band of Brothers did. This is not so good. Ten of hearts. All right, so one guy's good, and then one more card. You need to get an ace of clubs. <laughs> not so much, so they're good. All right, I think we still want to suppress these machine guns. Suppress those MG42s. So that'll be uh, three shots. Nice. Leave God. Need ammo. So first shot, we have a six of hearts. Compared to a queen of diamonds. Oh, oh, he's fine. Wow. Second shot. We have a four of Oh, oh man, another crappy shot. Shoot straight today. Compared to a seven of oh, diamonds. Oh. Oh. Third shot. Stuff. Is it a face card? We're hoping. I think to be historically oh, no. accurate here, we need to have the Americans pull better cards. Oh. <laughs> oh. So uh, I think at this point, we need to just be aggressive and get this track. So Malarkey like can do a uh, uh, first for one point cross. Yep. And then for the remaining three, Enter into hand-to-hand uh, -hand combat. Oh, sure. Malarkey As Americans are drawing three cards on the offense, and we pick the best. So we have a very low ace, no. a nine, That's and a three. So the nine That's is what That's not we're very good. good. And you'll draw yeah, one yeah, card yeah, on the offense. Nine. Come on, Walt. I right. mean, in, in melee in this game, oh, if you lose, you're dead. In taking out one German defender. Wow. Uh, he can now fire. First shot is a five. Okay. Maybe not. A five. five. But yes. A heart is a higher suit. All right. Heart so is higher than clubs. Malarkey's is a right. one-man wrecking machine. Okay, so I got one more shot. Oh, ten. Yeah. Malarkey's done more than the rest of the whole platoon. Ooh. The luck is turning, so we'll knock wow. this guy over. All right. All right. All right. Well, Malarkey did his job. He did. I'm not so sure about it. the other guys. <laughs> I agree. <laughs> <Not so much. laughs> wow. And that uh, completes our activation. We've used that's all. All right, Ben, let's compare tactics. So they start with an exchange of machine gun fire, just like Band of Brothers, so good suppressive fire. Yep, and then grenades to clear the trench. Right, Malarkey gets in, and they took out two Germans. Yep, but their aim isn't quite as good. They don't have the gun pit yet. They don't have the gun pit, yeah. And they, they did manage to kind of get through without taking a lot of losses. So uh, I think their tactics match up so far, we think. I agree. Let's see how it goes. Nice music. Oh. First what did it ever do to you? Oh, ouch. Oh, uh, yeah, close combat. Got to be aggressive. Oh, man, wow. And have ingenuity, right? I wish I knew German. 
Yeah. <laughs> there you go. I always like this scene. Alright. Okay, so All we're right, gonna so we're going first. We're gonna go first. Now we draw one for the activation itself. A six. six. And I think that's probably fine for us to stick with. I think I, six will be enough. I think six will be enough. It and could always I, get worse. I say we charge him a move into close combat with that lead German. Uh huh kind of form a front line there mm -hmm. while these guys are throwing grenades into these two Germans. What would be a then empty trench, which won't, <laughs> which won't affect her. Yeah. I like right. it. I like it. Okay. So we would spend one point to move him into melee. Yes. Okay, so four, four. Seven. a seven is the front runner, mm -hmm. a nine. We'll uh, take the uh, nine. I mean, nine come on, again. Malarkey. Oh! No! If you no. lose, you're dead. There's no beating that. Super dead. Sorry, sorry, Malarkey. I, I hope everyone who enjoyed him in the show enjoyed him oh, in the show because he's wow. done here. Oh, that's a bad that's, opening for that's a, No heroes today. No heroes today. I think today. The, the German players were saying it was an unfair scenario. <laughs> <laughs> right. right. There's a lot of. Alright, come on. Get them guns, get moving. We'll have Kimberling Cross. Yep can run to six inches into contact here. All yep. right, another one going in yeah. to help, well, yeah. take Malarkey's place. All right, another important melee. Um, I'll take the blame Very on this good. one. Three cards. Please have a king in there. Oh, oh no. Three. Three. Oh, no. An, An ace. ace. Oh, my oh, God. God. Oh, God. Oh, God. A four. Oh, God. Oh, God. He's yeah. so dead. Oh, He's dead. Totally dead. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> German got oh. the jump okay. on him. Chuck some grenades. Nope. Okay. <laughs> Here we go. Second. You can go back to grenades. <laughs> That's on um, the king. It's the king of spades. Yep. This is the king of spades. But it is. <laughs> you, got, you got one more for one the first more. guy. And that grenade so, lands. Okay, so we have one down. And then the second him. guy. First one? Was yep. Total All good. Grenade nope. fest. For us. King of spades. King of spades. Nope. Nice. Yep. And three nope. of spades downed. All right. Yep. So we have two Germans finally. Excellent. Our luck has improved. All right. <sighs> so our objective is to destroy guns. So right. I think primarily you need to spend one grenade on spike. Yeah. Right. This has We're been a very costly down. gun pit. Yeah. Oh, nice. All right. So uh, taking the gun, they've taken two KIA. That's twice what they took historically. But. We didn't show it, they did manage to suppress that machine gun, which would help them move down the trench. So I think they're doing okay, although heavy casualties. Yeah, that's pretty heavy casualties early on. They took, what, one for this whole yeah. uh, actual engagement? So it costs two men to take out one gun. Now yeah. they're going to fight their way down the trench. Yeah, talk to Spielberg about your tactics, guys. <laughs> Alright, second gun, let's see what they do. Love the hand signal he gives there in charge. Ooh, brutal. There you go, there's a couple of grenades. All the Germans down, finish them off. What's this guy? Is this Lorraine is gonna throw a grenade into this German's face? Uh, Even with grenades, Once you do that. good tactics. <laughs> Come on, Matt. It's an eight. It's a little better. Yeah, it's a little bit so better. It's an eight grenade this way. A little bit better. First my guy. Oh, oh, the first guy is fine. Second guy. Versus Next guy. Seven. Ooh, he He's caught dead. it. Down, sorry. Third guy. They only get one because they're not in cover anymore. Versus by nine. Yeah, so that middle guy did catch the grenade. No, yeah, one out of three right, so ain't nothing. Yeah. Charge down the trench. Yes. Down the trench. Yes. Yeah. 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 Thematically, that's what they're doing. It's Ooh, okay. uh, what would they say? Awesome. So it's their mission is them, to charge down the trench right? and yep. destroy guns. There's yeah. a lot of charges. So Let's kill some guns. Okay, so I'm going to draw that one. Very good. So I got three cards. You do. Oh no! Jesus! And a five. Oh, oh no! no. <laughs> Not when you pull like that. One defense card. Oh, tripped and fell. This is I'm ten. Oh, oh my God! Another dead one. See you later, Kimberly. See you later, American. These Germans—they're not Austrooping. They've got knives. I think we need to eliminate those. Germans. Yeah, I'd say yeah. you need to eliminate right those here. Germans. <laughs> okay, right, let's do a Compton grenade. Nice. That's a 10. Oh, oh he found oh, that's a better good. He knows the first. Compton knows how to turn a grenade. This is that kind of game. He gets two cards. Five. 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 Five.
Oh, no. Ooh, all right. Oh, oh, all right. right. The mode's going much, Mine's much more. better than that. All right. Well, this is that was, exciting. That yeah, that's great. Right. Let's take care of those Germans who are injured first. Oh, yeah. as Sounds George Lesh would say. And, uh, what did he say? He said, uh, Let's uh, make it quick. Watch our Karen Tanz video to see that. Follow me. Come on, take those guns. Move, move, move. I think it may have to so be this guy now. Four, yeah, whoever Four for the movement, right? Yeah, so one to get across, three more three to get in. into contact Ooh. for four total. Ooh, charging Great right into melee. melee. I, I thought we talked about getting into contact here. Oh, Joker. Okay, right, ends the turn. That probably saved his life. <laughs> probably. <laughs> so we do have morale. Um, oh, we, oh, this is morale. Big. we get three shots at it. Uh, so if the Americans down, fail... One, two, they have lost the game. Total, so we need uh, better than a three. Already did it. All right. So we're gonna morale, and you folks. We need one for orange rifles. Orange is oh. Big. They flee. They oh. Took, Whoa. They run. So the they whole squad in the middle they breaks and runs. Yeah, they only have one casualty. They had one casualty, that. but the, be... they didn't beat it. That's... Oh, these weren't uh, frontline yeah. SS troops yeah. here in this trench. Well, they sh they yeah. sure were fighting like it. And him. All flee. Wow! wow. Oh, Alright, well that's historical. Yep, yep. They're running and getting mowed down. Running and getting shot. Just having a bad day. Alright, so they've taken the second gun, but they've taken three KIA. So okay. that's getting up there. Um, three, and they, oh, they also took out this gun. Okay. So that's helpful. Yes, that's very good. But three KIA, if they start getting more, they're in danger of failing that morale check. Yeah, I'd be really concerned if I got up to five. Like, every turn, you're pulling those cards to maybe yeah, run they, away. That's they get dangerous. to pull three cards because they're elite. But uh, anyways, I think their tactics are doing well, but they're taking heavy casualties. Push on, boys! All right, fight through that trench. No, no, Malarkey's dead. <laughs> All right, got some leadership. Continue fast and use grenades. And German around the corner, smoke them. They're trying to set up a machine gun on the trench there. I think Winners had the initiative card there first. Notice Winners does not go up and punch them. Yeah. All right, he just shoots them. Grenade. I'll pull the activation. We get four. four. So Lipton is moving through the trench network. And then he'll take a shot at our good friend Fritz. Our two two cards. cards. Two cards. Do you want to draw right. for him? Perfect. Queen, good start. Good shot. And a jack, so we need the queen. All right. But spade beats club. Nope. And a better queen Ooh. beats it. And he only gets one because it. it's down the trench. Hey, oh. just like winter, he pops out of the trench, pops the guy, and goes back. That's right. That was two actions for yeah, Just like the show. Four. Run the other guy up behind him and okay. like let's finish him off. Good old Compton will get him. Less, ger right. less Germans ah. is better. Melee someone is down and they're eliminated. All right, uh, Compton can now also throw a grenade. Oh, grenades, grenade. grenades first. Lead with the grenade. Do I do this? I'll grade? do that one. Okay. Oh, five. Not so mm. good. Not a good grenade. Mm. His throwing arm is getting really tired. Get one card per oh. guy. So the first one is down. Oh God! Wow. Down. Come on, Walt. One uh, down. Oh. The other guy. Oh, he got both oh. Germans in the trench in the gun pit. Wow. Yeah. wow. That's Lipton. He's an awesome grenade right. thrower. That's great. That's how you clear a gun pit. Yeah, you just suppress, uh, suppress oh, the okay. gun pit. Is that how? <laughs> yeah. We finally learned. It took us a gun pit. It took, took us a little bit. It took us a bad. So, another gun. Boom. Awesome. All right, Ben, so the Americans have taken two gun pits, but they've paid heavily with four KIA. Uh, what do you think about that? Uh, I think that's a lot of casualties to take yeah, from two gun yeah. pits. They're using the right tactics, but too aggressive with the close combat. Okay, now they've taken the third gun. We're not showing it because they use the same tactics, grenades and close combat, but they took three more casualties taking it. Two from melees. Again, brutal. Brutal. <laughs> So these morale checks are getting nasty. Yeah, they're taking a lot but of casualties. Once that third gun pin is taken, then they get a little help. Yeah, no, that's <laughs> fine. You go ahead. <laughs> yeah, we're good. Who is that? Spears? Out 
trench. Oh, what the hell is he doing? Oh, Jesus. You criticize all you want, but he did it. Yeah, well, yeah. He did. So I'm coming in off the board edge. It's a big right? rival. Spears! Yay! Yay! Lieutenant Sean! <laughs> hey, Lieutenant Sean Spears. Now he's got the same problem that Matt and Kimber had. How does he cross that open space? You can get one over. I can get one guy over, all right. He does, but this really, really saves the uh, easy right, company yeah. They can I don't think they could do it with their seven casualties and the juice they had left. He was in nine? But now they got a yeah, chance. Yeah, he's within nine of the guns. I'll throw a grenade. Absolutely. Here, why don't you Grenades. use right. those cards since you haven't had a chance to pull just, cards yet? Just ten. All right. Good first grenade. is a three and a queen. Okay. okay. All right. So the first one passed. A nine and a five. Second one, one, down. Yep. one down. Right. One down, German. And then the last guy. Here. The Germans are running out of troops here, too. The uh, yeah. easy company's cleared out about, what, 20 out of the 30? Two more Germans down by grenades. Grenades. I think this is the war game I've seen the most grenades used. Well, I mean, Get it's him. all Charge trench fighting, gun. close in. Charge that gun. All right, that's one to there. Right. Spears is going in. Come on, Sean Spears. Three cards. Come on, three cards. Let's we'll see what I get. Six. Uh oh. A jack. Ooh. Oh, Jack's good. Eight. All right, the okay. Jack's pretty good. Come on. Jack of spades. Oh, oh, oh my God! God. Oh, at the last minute, he pulled out a Luger and shot him. You know, Sean was sitting here watching the game and watching the American Demilies, <laughs> and he has no one to blame for this but himself. <laughs> yes. All right, I think I'm within nine inches to throw a grenade yep. there. Here's my grenade toss. A ten. Two. Oh, oh no. Oh, American caught a potato no. masher. Spears is taking casualties but that's now. Yeah. What they say, like they aggressively attacked. Yes, sir. And they got brewed up. Yeah. Right? Yep. Yeah. They kind of burst out into the open. It's not a safe couple minutes when you're up there. No. No, it's, no, it's very dangerous. Okay. Very dangerous. I think I'm done. Okay. Back to our activation. Yeah. Yeah. It's a jack. We got a lot That's more good. That's a lot okay. of stuff. That's to 11 run. activations. I think I kill everybody, right? Yeah. yeah. As long as they don't pull a joker next card, we're good. No, they're all gone. Oh, they're all that's dead? That's it. Move yeah. in and kill everyone. That's what, that's what Spears does. They yeah. pulls it off. They pulled it off. Yeah, right. Heavy wow. casualties. Wow. So, I mean, Sean took three, mm -hmm. plus the seven, ten casualties. Yeah, that's a lot more than it took historically. I mean, they only barely pulled it off here. Yeah, they could have run at any moment. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, I think the Americans, they take another morale check, they could have failed. It was really yeah, close, for sure. Actually. All right, well, that was great. Yeah, very exciting game. <laughs> <laughs> Airborne. All right, well, it looks like Matt and uh, Kimber did not quite as good at Easy Company. Easy Company, we know, took all the guns historically, but they only took one dead, yep. and Matt and Kimber took like 10. Yeah, yeah, uh, I think they've ruined the series, Mark. <laughs> <laughs> so, anyway, so our guys, they used the right tactics, but the Germans kind of fought harder. So we got to give some credit to Walt and Brian. Absolutely, absolutely. I mean, we're up against the American League paratroopers. That is a tough fight. Yeah. All right, so Matt and Kimber, they showed good tactics, and we want to thank Walt and Brian for playing. And we hope to see you next time. We're going to have a video coming up with more paratroopers on D-Day. See you then. Like and subscribe.